Hi there, I am going to show you a quick tutorial on how to make a video photo slideshow using your Photos app on your Mac computer. Uh, first of all, you're going to open your Photos app, which for me is down here on my dock, wherever your dock is, um, or you can go into your Finder window and go to your apps and it should be in there uh, as Photos. So double click on that. Um, your your photos should show up. Um, if you have photos stored already in your photos app, they'll show up here. Um, and then you can you might have them saved on certain albums or whatever, the pictures you want to use. Um, I have 20 pictures here that I've saved of my doggies. So we're going to use those as an example. Um, you want to go ahead and select the ones you want to use. You can either um, do a control or a command click like that boom boom and so I'm clicking all these I accidentally hearted that one but anyway if you want to use only certain ones but not all of them you can just do that or you can do command A and that'll select all your photos and uh, we can go from there so once you have all those selected in the photos app which is what we're in um, it's pretty easy. You can either right click if you have that option and go to create and we're going to go down to slideshow. Another way to do it is after they're still all selected, go to file, create, and uh, go to slideshow right there. So we'll go ahead and click it there and it's going to ask you to name the new slideshow and we'll do um, beagles in the backyard. That's what we're calling this. And you can see uh, under my projects, it created a new project here, Beagles in the Backyard, which is what you just named it. Um, you'll also see that down here in this section, it um, went ahead and put all your pictures onto a timeline, if you will. And it has them all there. I've got 20 pictures saved. And uh, there's a few buttons you can see. There's a preview button. So. Moving right along to music, um, actually first let's let's go to themes. Um, that's the classic theme is what you saw under the preview. You can change different themes and they'll change what you see. Vintage prints has some nice um, borders or backgrounds, sliding panels. They're all just different, uh, diff a different way to present your pictures. Um, so once you have that selected, we're still using the 20 pictures or however many pictures you have in your timeline here, you're going to go to music, which is a very important part of the presentation. Um, so what you can do here, it already has this one selected because that's what came or is packaged with the theme. Um, if you go to your music library, I don't have really any songs in here that I'm going to use, um, but I believe it uses iTunes to select, uh, to look at your library of music there. So you can click a song, it'll add it to here, or you can exit back out and just use the one that they provided. Once you figure out your music, go down to the little uh, stopwatch timer here, and you can either, um, you can change the speed of the photos, of how fast they rotate to the next photo, if you want them to rotate fast, there. If you want them to last longer, you just uh, move this little bar back and forth like so. Uh, what I like to do is fit to music because then it will um, automatically set each picture to last the same length to fit the uh, length of the song, whatever song you, you've chosen or the one that comes with the uh, theme. Once you have that all set, remember your pictures are down here in the timeline. You've set your music here, and you've pick, already picked your theme as well. Um, oh, there's other theme songs you can pick. Oh, that's kind of cool. Or iTunes, like we said. So uh, once you have all that set, we've got our music. Pictures are in there. We're ready to go. We can export like so, and it's going to give you the option of where to save it. Um, I would. I just save it in my desktop and you can change the definition you probably want to do at least 720 probably do 1080 if it's if it works for you 
and uh, Beagle's in the backyard, desktop, click save, and it's going to give you a status bar here. Um, once this fills up all the way to the end here, you will have a completed video. So that's basically how to do it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on this video, and uh, I'll do my best to respond quickly. Um, but it's it's uh, relatively easy, and it's a fun way to present your pictures to family and friends, uh, post it on YouTube, or burn it on a DVD, or kind of however you want to present it to people. Um, so again, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.